guys this is your humble host or kill if you prefer so i have some news i know it's been a few weeks since i put out a video but i have an interesting update for y'all and it's clearly obvious on the screen after two plus years i have my twitter back miraculously enough sometime last week i received a email saying that my account was going to be reinstated. Cool, and that would take 24 to 48 hours for my follows and followers to return. Okay, cool. So I had looked at my account, it was still in a suspension status. Get this though, so in order for me to report the new problem, I had to put in a new case file. Well, I think I had two different Twitter agents here because the first one that sent me the email originally was perfectly fine with reinstating my account. So I sent an email saying, hey, my account's still messed up. I can't do anything with it. And then the second agent, I believe was the second agent, could have been more than one doing this, started to respond by an automatic reply after I put an appeal, again, saying that your account would not be reinstated. This went on for, I want to say, about 8 to 10 hours. I was messing with this while I was at work during my graveyard shift. So I was really, really confused, and I started to kind of spread the word around. Granted, I'm not very big. I really don't know any big YouTubers anymore, real prominent ones. I just don't. Anyway, with that being said, two particular people, one, two particular people I reached out to is like, hey, can you tag Elon Musk to see if he would reinstate my account? Just, you know, give it a shot in the wind, see what comes out of it. Well, they did. And then I had some people in my Discord talking about how they would make some noise. So I'm not entirely sure how the result came about. I don't know if it's the one to two people poking at Musk, which, thank you, by the way, awesome. Um, I don't know if it's the original agent that initially sent the email saying, yes, I will reinstate your account. Coming back to my email that I sent after that notification going, hey, my account's still messed up, and then seeing the plethora of case files, because there's like eight to 10 of them afterwards with the automatic reply, your account will not be reinstated. So I'm not 100% sure what happened. 100% sure, excuse me, tongue tied there. How my account came back, it's back. I'm grateful. It feels weird having it back. Everything's here. And there is something very, very critical because I got really freaking curious. I'm gonna show you why <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to show you something very important that is now back because before my account um, got nuked, it was thoroughly choked and shadow banned. So you guys remember how certain hashtags started to disappear, um, certain names that had to do with the hashtags started to disappear. Well, lo and behold, you guys remember on my channel how I went to the 2019 hearing of October down in Texas for Save Games. So I got curious to see if I could actually search any of this up, and I was actually quite shocked to see that a lot of the old stuff, I'm going to continue to scroll down, this is a little while after this is the verdict uh, Judge Kim Cooks gave, and um, there was a very, very naughty reporter in the room who's taking pictures, not supposed to, still though. But it's here. It's all freaking here. It's back, and I was thoroughly blown away 
because this was stuff that we dropped and I actually had some people helping me, whether it be viewers of mine personally or people who are also following the case, but it's all here. I cannot overstate this enough because this is the thread that I had and I'll even show you what's here because it's the stuff with the Blair White video um, that came out, which thoroughly pissed me off. Um, and my notes, my notes are accessible again. Let me scroll down here. Um, this is just like bananas. This is the uh, video I took of Jeff and James playing. It's all freaking here. Um, one of my posts, oh, here's the thread for the notes, and it's all back, like, I, I can't even tell you how just in limbo, how blown away I am, you can search this now, you can type in hashtag save James at Chambers of Heart, and it will pull up, uh, October 21st, 2019, October 16, 2019, I mean, it's freaking crazy, because, my account really got shadow banned. You couldn't even search my stuff up. I mean, so, and I know Elon Musk, I can't remember because I was talking to some people about this a few days ago when I first realized, oh, my account is actually back. This is all searchable again. Um, I know Elon Musk has commented on the trans stuff itself whether or not that specifically to save james i don't entirely remember because when the story started getting traction again a few months ago you had more people speaking out hell i even saw sorgan of a cod aka carl benjamin comment on it on twitter so it's gotten around and it's still ish kind of making the rounds i know eric carroll from dad talks is making a documentary but I just, I cannot tell you how blown away I am. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I don't know how long this is going to be searchable. This is just crazy to me. And right before Pride Month, of all things, I actually bumped into another account that got reinstated. And I can tell it got reinstated because it put out a test tweet and the followers and um, the people that the account was following had not returned yet. And I'm just, I have to go through because there's people over the past two years or so that have lost their damn minds and I got to get them out of my uh, follow list. It's just like, oh man, no, no, you go away. But with that being said, it just, it feels weird to have this back. I, I feel a lot calmer now and there's just stuff like, yeah, I'm not touching that. I don't want to do that. So it's going to be different, but I'm so glad my main goal of getting my Twitter back, because I talked about this for two years straight when Elon Musk started say, hey, I'm going to start releasing the accounts that got banned, not all in one go, but it's going to be a slow process, which, okay, cool. My main goal was to get all the stuff back. Um, all the stuff having to do with the 2019 of October court hearing, I don't even think we got our hands on the transcript from 2019. I really don't. I don't think Jeff has it. I don't think... Um, anyone else can get it because everything is sealed at this point. And these are the notes. That was a very, very important hearing. And a lot of them I have recorded. And unfortunately, Judge Mary Brown and Janicek and the Supreme Court of Texas pulled some chicken shit. So we didn't get a hearing from uh, September, was it 2021? There was a hearing that was supposed to take place quite a few months ago. And was supposed to be live streamed, but because the Texas Supreme Court, like a bunch of douchebags, decided to go, oh, hey, no, you have to physically come watch a stream in court, they no longer stream it to the public. Like, there is no Zoom link, there's no YouTube stream anymore, which it just, it's chicken shit. It really is outright chicken shit. And I know um, Jeff's case, oh, that's what it was. Jeff's case, going to the Supreme Court, um, I found out his was not the only case that I got thrown out in that same freaking batch. It literally was days apart. Um, you guys are familiar with Vic Magnana stuff. And Vic Magnana's case went to the Supreme Court and also promptly got tossed out. Like, I went and found a picture. Jeff Younger's case 
and Vic Monial's case ended up in the same freaking batch that was going to go to the Texas Supreme Court to be looked at that week. I saw it and I took a picture of it somewhere and I don't know where it is at the moment, but I'm like, holy crap. And the fact that both of them got tossed out. Yeah, no, it was a bad freaking week, dude. Anyway, I wanted to kind of alert you guys. I'm going to put the uh, link in the description to do, go and search this stuff up. Go see first up for those of you who are not familiar with what happened back in 2018. It's all here. Forgive my handwriting. I had to write very fast. I went through five to six different pens over a 45 day span for hearing eight to nine hours a piece. Yeah, those were long sessions. My goodness. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to end it off here. Um, for those of you who do have your Twitter reinstated, um, just be cautious, be cautiously optimistic. They are really trying to go after Elon right now with a bunch of bullshit. And there's some staff members that are still very, very spiteful and have not been fully flushed out as you can, uh, Clearly see, and some people, from what I understand, when I posted this on my Facebook page, what was going on with my account, I had someone respond, like, yeah, this is happening to a lot of people saying that they were going to get reinstated, but then another agent's going to turn around and go, well, no, we're going to keep your account banned. They don't want certain accounts back, but thankfully there's more of Elon Musk people here than there is the original Looney Tune crew. So... With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. And for those of you who haven't seen some of the posts on my Twitter, I'm working on some new stuff, trying to revitalize my channel. Not entirely sure what my goal content is going to be um, because I just I want to have a little bit more fun. But at the same time, I have other stuff going on in my personal life. So I'm just slowly but surely working on stuff. You guys have a wonderful one. And if you have your Twitter accounts back, awesome. Be cautiously optimistic. Um, if you're still working on yours, I would just say keep putting in the appeals. I would email the original response that told you you were going to get your account back. I don't know exactly how I got my account back. I really don't. So I do not have a formula. I'm not going to recommend these weirdos on Instagram, oh, hey, I can recover your account for you. Hit me up in DMs. Those just sound like phishing scams to me. So I'm not going to recommend any of that shit. You risk your own accounts, your own personal information. If you want to go do something like that, I had that suggested to me several times. It's like, nope, nope, nope. This sounds like phishing to me. No, thank you. I will continue to trudge through this bullshit that I'm currently doing right now. But as I said, and I'm sorry I keep repeating, you guys have a good one and best of luck.